if you're thinking of selling your home whether now or in the future then you're going to make sure to want to watch this video and we're getting started just now Hi everyone, I'm Ugo Renze with Onyx Property Consultants and Keller Williams. I am a London-based uh, property agent and I love helping my clients buy, sell, rent and manage property throughout this fabulous city. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe because I put out weekly video about the London property market, whether it's showing off all the fabulous things you can do living in this great city or just knowing more about the London property market. In today's video, I'll be covering my top five tips of things you need to consider if you're thinking about selling your property, whether it's in the near future, midterm, or long term. Regardless of what's happening in the economy or in the world, there's always going to be people who need to sell their homes. So we want to make sure we share our top tips for them to give them the best advice. So let's get started. Tip number one is figure out why you actually want to sell. While this might be pretty obvious for most people, it actually is definitely something to make sure you're clear on. Are you selling because you heard that it's the best time to sell and your neighbor was able to max out a certain figure? Well, that might be interesting, but that could also be changing rapidly if the local economy or the property market has also changed. Also, you need to figure out what you're actually going to do with the proceeds of the sale of the property. And if you're buying, make sure that you're going to be able to get an equivalent property or something that you really want to own next. Or if say you're selling because you're tired of that upstairs bathroom or that living room, perhaps you might want to consider doing an extension or a major home improvement as statistics have shown that actually reinvesting your property can be a definite cost saver versus actually the cost and expense and time and headache of actually moving especially if you like your neighborhood or if it's the place where your children are in school and you don't really necessarily want to disrupt that to perhaps get a better house in a different neighborhood and giving up so many of the other things you like about your current community. My point is to make sure you really have thought through why it is that you want to sell. When I meet with sellers, it's one of the most critical things we spend a fair amount to talk about is what is your motivation to selling? Why are you selling? Which can actually impact then your timeline for selling. And that ultimately is going to impact your price. And you need to be really realistic about that. Tip number two is to declutter and to depersonalize your space. Now that so many of us might be at home, it's a great time to organize your home and your life. And if you're remotely thinking of selling, it's a great time to declutter your space. Decluttering allows anyone coming in to really get a sense of the space and have a clear line of sight. Cluttered rooms will often look a lot smaller than they actually are. Also, start thinking about depersonalizing. Why? Because potential buyers need to be able to envision themselves in a new home and having very personal and specific decorative items throughout the house might prove a challenge. For example, if you have a room that is sweet and pink and all decked out for your daughter, someone else might have a hard time seeing that room function as a great home office. Or if the minute they walk into your family room, it's a massive family portrait on the wall, it may have a way of subliminally saying that this is someone else's home and they just might not feel comfortable coming into it or making it their own. Tip number three, work on any necessary projects. One of the most effective things you can do is paint wherever necessary. It just gives a clean, polished look throughout. Also, you can replace light bulbs, make sure the rooms are well lit throughout, Caulking in the bathrooms will eliminate grunge and griminess that will just turn off so many buyers. And here's one of my personal favorite tips, which is to change out the handles on cupboards and cabinets. You would be amazed how that simple fix can instantly update a kitchen or wardrobes in your bedrooms and any cupboard or cabinets in a bathroom. You can pick stylish options such as brushed nickel or more contemporary to really update perhaps traditional knobs that have been around for a while. So are you thinking about selling your home this year? If so, let me know what are the primary reasons you're looking to sell. Please make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. Getting back to our list, tip number four is to stage your home or make sure that it is sale worthy. Consider staging your home. It's funny to me how so many sellers want to sell for top dollar, but they're actually not willing to make any home improvement improvements or investments to actually make sure that they can command top dollar. 
the benefits of staging have definitely been documented and it's an investment that's worth considering. Number one, they will allow you and your estate agent to take great marketing photos and to attract buyers in the first place. We believe that the first viewing takes place online, so it's really important that we take great photographs that showcase the best features of your home, and staging will allow us to do that. Another key benefit of staging rooms and the home is that everyone wants to live in the most stylish and up-to-date space. And if your home is properly styled, then each room will have a clear purpose and function and really be able to help people visualize that they'll be able to live in that home comfortably as well. Tip number five is to speak to an estate agent and get a true sense of value. A good estate agent should be able to give you a clear up-to-date market analysis, which may change if you're months away from actually selling. So you're going to want to make sure you keep getting updated on what's happening on your local property market. This should be based on what homes have actually sold already, the number of homes currently on the market, how long it's taking them to sell, and actually then to compare your home for features and benefits and amenities, which are what buyers are going to see and make sure yours competes competitively. I often have conversations with sellers who can easily discount every other property as being inferior and overpriced, but are not really able to see their home objectively. It's understandable, of course, as it's your home and very personal, but if you're serious about selling, the brutal reality is, is that your home is only worth what someone is willing to pay for it, and therefore you need to get clear on what buyers are considering your home against in terms of other properties in the area with similar or better features and amenities. Here in London, it's been a buyer's market for quite some time, so you're going to definitely want to make sure that your home stands out in terms of price and presentation to even attract the right buyers. So I hope this video has given you some helpful tips in terms of what you need to consider and the things you need to probably be prepared to do if you are thinking about selling your home, whether now or in the long-term future. If you want specific tips on preparing your home for sale, then just leave me a comment below and I can send you my free getting ready to get your home sold guide. If you've liked this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Share any other top tips you might have in terms of getting your and home And if you want to learn sale. more about selling your home, I've got other fantastic videos on my YouTube channel dedicated specifically to sellers. I've also got some fabulous videos about the London property market, so you make sure you want to check those out as well. So that's Ugo Orenze with Honest Property Consultants and Keller Williams. Bye for now.